Hello guys, um, welcome to a new video. It's been long since last time I've uploaded anything. I've been sick, so um, yeah. Um, so finally, I can begin um creating some new videos. Um, so now we are going to create health for a player. We are going to begin on doing some more traditional stuff for for platformers. So. Uh, so we're going to create health and um, in the next part we are probably going to do something like enemies, uh, pickups, health packs, um, attacking and stuff like that. Um, so let's just jump right into units and we're going to begin on creating our health for player so we can kill our player which is nice. Because if we couldn't, it would be boring. Um, so let's jump right into it. Just going to remove what I did last time. Because I had to record this video a few times. Um, so, just going to create something stats just to sort things out. Um, so, we're going to create two new variables uh, a public current health public int current health max health all right so um the reason the reason why we are saying integer instead of float um actually the difference between between float and int is that int can only be whole numbers like 1 2 3 and so on uh, uh and float can actually be decimal numbers like 1.5, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Um, so what we're going to use these um, variables for is our current health is the current health of our player and the max health is the max health for our player. Um, so our current health can't exceed the max health number. So Let's just set our max health to 100. Um, so yeah, um, now we are going to go into our start uh, method here, which is going to be called in the start of uh, our game, when we play the game. So in this start, we are going to set our current health equals to our max health. So we have full health when we start the game. Because it wouldn't be nice if we had zero health and died at the beginning of our game, of course. So, let's just set current health equals to max health. That's very simple. You should understand this. Um, and now we are going to uh, create um, a die function so we can die. So we are going to create a new void or function, you can call that. Um, it's called die. And um, in here, we can, for example, for now, we can just restart the game when we die. Uh, we can later in this series create something like death screen or some death animation or something um, But we ain't do going to do that now um, So we're just going to say something we actually also did in our menu Post menu script. We're just going to load the loaded scene again which means basically restarting the game or the yeah Restarting the scene. So application dot um, load level. So load a level, and we are going to load the level of the application dot loaded level. And that's simple. So when we die, we are just going to load the load level, which is restart 
So now we can call this function and restart the game. And we are going to call this function when our current health is equals to zero. And we are going to check if our health is zero in the void update method here. So I'm just going to move down here and um, so let's just make sure our current health can't exceed max health. And the way we are going to do that is saying if current health is uh, bigger than max health, then we are going to set our current health equals to max health. And um, that is also very simple, so you should also be able to understand this. Um, and then we are going to say, if our current health is uh, uh, equals to or smaller than, smaller than or equals to, I guess, yeah, I can say so, um, zero. Um, then we are going to set, uh, then we are basically just going to die. Like that. Um, so that's pretty simple. Um, let me just check if I got everything right. Um, let's just j jump back into Unity and check if we have any errors down here on the console. Nope. And our max health is 100. Um, so let's just click play and see what happens. Yep, you can see our current health is equals to our max health. And for now we can just uh, decrease this number and then we can die. So that's basically our die function, which is... Uh, down here which restarts the game and in the next episodes we are going to create something that can uh, take health away from our player and we are probably also going to add levels or something just so you can learn how to do different stuff for other projects so um, what I'm just teaching you is uh, different things you can use for uh, for a lot of things in Unity. Um, it's very simple. So yeah. That's our simple health. And um, there isn't so much more to say. I'm just going to say thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to subscribe. And check out the other episodes if you haven't checked them out. Um, like and share. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.